I will tell you this, this is also so important because I couldn't believe this. I don't remember if I mentioned this in any of my other videos. I have chronic pain 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My neck and my back from the base of my skull all the way down to my hips is like, it's like steel ramrods, steel girders. That's what my muscles feel like all the time. I have limited range of motion. I have problems turning my head because I'm in so much pain and my muscles are so stiff and they're like solid. Well, the morning after my session, I woke up with no pain. muscles felt softer, more flexible. My whole, like my insides just felt more fluid, if that makes any sense. My whole body. And it's been almost a week now. It's been a week and I still don't have the pain. I'm not saying I don't have any of it. It started to come back a little bit, but it's a lot less than it was. And that was a really pleasant surprise. I was not expecting that at all. I hope that this can continue and it becomes a permanent thing. And also the other thing that I noticed right away after just one session is that my mind was able to do something on its own that it has never been able to do before, you know, in as long as I can remember since I've been a child. And that is just shut up and calm down. It does not know how to do that. It, it, I never could master it, no matter how t hard I tried. That's why I'm into yoga. That's why I'm into meditation. Um, that's why I'm a spiritual person, because part of the reason is because I need to learn to quiet myself and quiet my mind, but I have never been able to do it. And then all of a sudden, naturally, it just happened and I didn't have a thousand thoughts flying through my head, banging together and, you know, just uh, every second, because that's normally how it is. It was just nice and quiet. And my mind told my body to stop. My mind is usually telling my body, run around, do this, let's go skating, let's go here. You know, we gotta go to work, we gotta go to the store, we gotta run here, we gotta, it's always gotta, 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 gotta. And I'm so sick of gotta, 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 but that's all I've ever known how to do. You know, go, go, go. Well, all of a sudden, for the first time in forever, my brain said, stop, stop, stop. And that's why I didn't even post a video. I, I didn't, not that I wasn't able to do it, it's just that my mind said, you need to rest. My mind needs to rest, my body needs to rest. We need rest, just rest. Now, that doesn't mean I didn't do anything. I still went to work and I did what needed to be done, but in my downtime, I didn't skate, I didn't go anywhere, I didn't record any videos. I just chilled, I journaled, uh, and I relaxed. And it, it's been an amazing experience so far. I've got another session coming up in a few more days because you need to schedule them out at least seven days after your first one, but then not any more than 12 days because that's how long your brain stays in the neuroplastic state. So you want to make sure that you don't wait over 12 days to schedule your next sessions, but you also can't do it before seven days because they don't want you to get addicted to the ketamine, which I think is great. I did meet again since then with my clinician. We discussed the whole experience. I did discuss it, of course, right directly after the experience and the journaling. I got back on that Zoom meeting with my guide. It was all together. It's like a two hour experience because you're on for a half hour with your guide. Then you have the stuff in your mouth. Then you're tripping. You come back and you journal and then you get back on with your guide for another half an hour then you help to unpack and integrate. Then you meet with the clinician again. They go over a lot of stuff with you too. Determine that if your dose was correct or if you might need a little more next time. And then they send you the remainder of your doses. So I am now waiting for the remainder of my doses, but I should have them soon. And I'm gonna be doing session two in a few more days. So I will post about that as well. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any questions about anything um, that I didn't cover here, just 
put them down in the comments. I will answer everybody because this is really important stuff. And I, you know, I don't want to press anybody to, to do anything that they're afraid to do. But if you are interested and you're, you know, you're just a little scared or, you know, a little concerned about different things, shoot me a question. I'll answer it to the best of my ability. Remember again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just me, but I can tell you all about my experience. Of course, you can always go on to the Mind Bloom website, www.mindbloom.com, and they have a lot of really good information there too. I will talk to you after the next session. Don't forget, put love out there. Peace.